Okay, I had to come inside because it was too hot outside, but let me see if we can work this out. What I need to do here is get a piece of uh, tape so that way you can line it up. It has this rubber molding here. Hopefully you can see it. Let me see, I have to move. It's rubber molding. You have to put it kind of right on the rubber molding, not too close to the thing I'm going to here. See, this is straight. Oops. Right there. One thing for the tape is so to go hold it on there, you can drill the holes and close it. So it'll give it that lip. It has enough gap here, so there's not a problem. So when you put it on here, <clears throat> you have to have a lot, enough leeway. So when you put the bracket on here, you'll be able to put it over and on there. Just to be able to latch it on there close. So what I'm gonna do now is go back here. Line up, line up these holes right here, drill, and hopefully it should work. I have to put in a tape on here to hold it in place. Next thing you're going to want to do is, I said this is a rubber cushion piece here. You're going to want to come in here and cut it right here and right here that way this can lay flat because as you can see from the side it's a little thick so when you put the screws in it's not gonna lay flat so let me go ahead and come here cut this and pull the rubber piece out here's what it's gonna look like so you take it so now I can sit flush right on here what you're gonna do is pull it back a little bit so you can give it some room so you can pull it back so you can latch it on. I said earlier I had to get a Lowe's and buy these screws. This is a 10 by 24 by 34 button head cap screw stainless. And then I got this stainless nylon insert lock nuts. 10 by 24, same size. Now, like I said, I have it with tape. You can see there's a move. I cut out the plastic piece, the rubber. Now I'm gonna drill the four holes so I can put the screws from the top down. I'm gonna start with the smallest drill bit that I have. And then we'll take it from here. I'm gonna drill the four holes. Nice. Remove this, the lock. Go from the other side. Now, of course, I'm going to make them bigger and bigger and smooth them out from this side. Yeah, as you can see, I got the screws. I've got some little washers in here. But what I'm going to have to do is sand this down. These two little lips right here. Reason being is that when I put the screw with the washer, see how it's going to sit up. It's not going to be flush. So I have an old school handy dandy file, which I'm going to go ahead and sand down. All right, I finished screwing them in. I don't want to bore you watching the video, but that's what it looks like from the outside. From the outside. Now I got to line up. Folks, I'm done here, and you can see the locks unlocked, unlocked. 
when you're gonna open it, you have to unlatch it first. Pull. Make sure this is pull. And it'll open. Like I said, you have the screws there. You have the latch there. You have the screws in there. Now, I do have to tell you the screws that I got, which are the ones I showed you, I had to use a Dremel. Just to Dremel the, the heads down a little bit, just to make it easier to lock, because this is being hard to turn. So, I just learned something. So I guess you can lock it without the key. You can close it. Oops. You have it out. Pull it out some. Pull the latch down. Make sure it's out there. And that's it. And when it's locked, I mean, if they want to get in, they can get in. But at least it's secure. So. I'm going to put the, the links to parts that I purchase, numbers, and where I purchase them from. If you got any questions, hit me up, like, share, and subscribe, and uh, see you in the next one.